Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Red Devil's Talk. You see the thumbnail, Sheikh Hasim withdraws from the takeover process. Reported by Fabrizio and many other credible journalists, Sir Jim Ratcliffe looks to have won the race. The Glazers are going to be staying, but we'll get into all of that in today's video. Subscribe to the channel, drop a like, share to your friends and family who are Man United supporters. Let's grow the community and also make your comments. Let me know what you think and feel about this. I certainly am not happy about this. It's heartbreaking. The time, the money, the way we grew up for those who are of a certain age, you know, for those who have watched United for quite a long time and supported the club through thick, through thin. When the Glazers came in, none of us were happy. I don't think we wanted them to be the owners of the club. Yes, they inherited it from their father, but they certainly did not deserve to own the club. They got the club through debt. They still haven't paid the debt. And with a particular potential owner that could have been Sheikh Hasim, who would have cleared that debt, would have started a brand new regime, a brand new Manchester United. That opportunity is gone. He's withdrawn from the process. And that leaves only Sir Jim, which looks like him being the winner. But he won't even be the owner of the club right now would he even be the owner of the club moving on in few years time there's no guarantees for that it's reported that on thursday a vote will be made by the board to accept his 25 percent minority stake which would mean he would have full control of footballing operations at the club and he is looking to bring in paul mitchell as a new director of football that all sounds promising. He wants to increase the stadium capacity to 90,000. But where is he getting this money from if he cannot buy the club now? But did the Glazers actually want to sell? Last year, they said that they are looking for ways to invest into the club. And everybody immediately thought that they are going to sell. And when it looked like that is the only option with Sheikh Hasim giving... A, as Fabrizio reported, up to a $7 billion cash offer for Manchester United, a full takeover. That was not rejected, but he decided to withdraw because the Glazers do not want to sell. It seems that they still want to bleed the club dry. Now it is reported that should Sir Jim get his 25% and have full control of footballing operations, the Glazers would take, sorry, a back seat. But in my opinion, they would still be there. And how can a club actually try and do well when the owners do not care? Now, Sir John might have all these pretty things painted for us. It could just be spin stories to make us turn and support him. But I would not be forgiving him. He has decided to worm his way in and get an opportunity to get a foot in the door, but still keep the Glazers. And we never wanted the Glazers to stay. I never wanted the Glazers to stay. But yet they have found a way to stay. They have found a way to get an influx of money without having to lift a finger, without having to put of their own money in. That said that, our owners do not care about the actual essence of a football club, the essence of Manchester United. With David Beckham speaking about Qatar, you would have thought that that would be a good step in the right direction. Now, Sir Jim might be the same, but I certainly have no hope in him. I certainly do not see a future a good future with him at the club because he doesn't even have the money to buy the club in its entirety. Whether that was the Glazers' plan or not, that is what the fans wanted. The Glazers gone, a 100% sale and takeover. 
you look at Sir German Ineos' history as owners with Nice, it hasn't been that well. They have a failed Mercedes F1 team that does not do well to a certain extent. He tried to buy Chelsea, he tried to buy Barcelona and failed in both those attempts and now gets lucky because of our owners who only care about themselves and how they can monetary gain. This is, in my opinion, one of the darkest and if not the darkest time in Manchester United's history where the owners, for one, do not care about the well-being of the club and that everything is done to what they want and not to what the fans want. A football club is made only special by its fans. It cannot exist without fans. And I, for one, certainly wanted Sheikh Hasim to be the new Manchester United owner, whether there are those who have their own state ownership ideals and did not want that particular thing. But it would have been a great opportunity to have an owner who only wants to win, who only wants the best to be the best. Now, Sir Jim might have the same mentality of wanting to be the best and have the best at the club, but he doesn't have the financial resource to do so. And that is the big difference. And the fact that he kept the Glazers at the club, that shows as well that he does not really have the fans mainly at heart. It's what good of a business deal I can do where I come out on top and where everyone is happy that I need to keep close to my circle. It's a dark time as a Manchester United fan, but it's a massive week. Thursday, the meeting to be held, as I said, there are going to be things that will be changing at the club. And if it's for the better, we'll see. But I have no hope in Sir German. I cannot forgive him for getting into bed with the Glazers, for actually keeping them at the club when the majority of fans wanted, him out of the, wanted them out of the club. But thanks for joining me. Drop a like, share to your friends and family, and of course, subscribe to the channel. This has been me, Session, from Red Devil Stalk. Dark, dark time as a Manchester United fan. And this is the way it seems. But bye-bye, till we see each other again soon. Thanks for watching. If you want more content on Manchester United, like, share and subscribe.